Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a trigonometric expression. We have cosine of pi over 48, which seems to be a very small angle, right? So we're going to go ahead and find the value. We're also going to be looking at the result from Wolfram Alpha. We can also compare what we find and there are different ways to represent it, obviously. So to be able to find this value, what is pi over 48? What does that represent? I mean, if you replace pi radians with 180 degrees, you're going to get uh, a value for in degrees. But is that going to be helpful? So let's go ahead and look at it this way. We're going to start with some angle that we know, and we're going to cut that in half using a special formula. So let's go ahead and come up with that formula first. What is that formula? So remember the double angle formula for cosine. So cosine of 2x is equal to, there's obviously three ways to write it. The one I'm going to use because I do need a cosine, I'm going to use the cosine version of cosine 2x, which is 2 cosine squared x minus 1. So from here, and of course, pi over 48 is a very small angle. It's between 0 and pi over 2. It's in the first quadrant. Also consider that because cosine will be positive. Even 2 times that angle will have a positive cosine. So here's what we do. We go ahead and isolate cosine from here. So add one to both sides and put the two cosine squared on the left. So you can kind of write this as one plus cosine of two X and then divide both sides by two. And you kind of get the formula that converts. This formula is also very helpful. If you're integrating uh, higher powers of cosine, particularly the even ones like cosine to the fourth to the eighth, you can always use this type of formula. Okay. Now, we do need the cosine, though. Let's go ahead and square root both sides and consider the fact that everything is positive here. So we can use the positive square root, which is this expression right here. So we kind of get a formula from the cosine to x. We're allowed to find x, which means you can cut the angle in half. Make sense? You can also change this formula a little bit, like replace 2x with something like alpha and then x would be half of alpha. So in other words, this is a half angle formula that gives you cosine of alpha over two in terms of cosine of alpha, which is probably a little bit more intuitive and easy to use. Now, we're gonna find cosine pi over 48 from here, but where do we start? So here's where you need to start. You start at cosine pi over six level. Why? Because pi over 48, is pi over 6 times 1 over 8. You got that. In other words, this is 1 eighth of pi over 6, which means pi over 6 divided by 8. So that means you can start with this. By the way, cosine pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. And you can just keep using the formula until you get to pi over 48. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's see how we can use this formula. First set alpha equal to pi over 6. That'll give you cosine of pi over 12 equals square root of 1 plus cosine of pi over 6 divided by 2. So now replace cosine pi over 6 with root 3 over 2. That's going to give you the square root of 1 plus root 3 over 2 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and simplify this. So we can write cosine pi over 12 as 2 plus root 3 divided by 4. And of course, the square root of that. Now, this can be simplified. And the way to simplify that is you can totally just square root this and then take this out. That's one way to do it. Or you can actually double the numerator and the denominator because that's actually going to help you even more. And let me show you why. Because it's important to get rid of this radical first, right? Even though square root of 8 is a radical, we can easily fix it. But this one is harder. And notice that this expression inside the radical is root 3 plus 1 squared. You should know these things, by the way. So it just becomes root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 because root square root of 8 can be written like that. Now, we can just multiply by root 2 over root 2. That will give us root 6 plus root 2 divided by 4, which is the value of cosine pi over 12. Now, on to cosine pi over 24. So again, you're going to cut this angle in half. So inside the formula, you're going to write the 2x value, which is this one we just found. So it's going to look like this, right? And then divide by 2. Again, using the formula, we do the exact same thing. But just make a common denominator. This will be 4 plus root 6 plus root 2. Divide by 4, divide by 2. That'll mean 
divided by eight. Okay, so there's a couple ways to approach it again. But let's leave it at that. Uh, maybe we can simplify it. Uh, is there a way to divide everything by two? Probably, or just leave it like that. But it's gonna be a very radical expression. So you might wanna you know, simplify this a little bit. And for that, you can use actually a couple different things such as, okay, can I write this as the square of something? Right? There's a couple ways to approach it, but one way that I'm thinking about is, first of all, write this as two root two, and then multiply by root twos. Of course, that two is gonna go inside. That's gonna give you eight plus two root six plus two root two, and then that'll be divided by four. So, you're gonna have a lot of radicals, but the idea is, use this one more time, cosine of pi over 48, is gonna be the square root of, and let's go back to the formula in case you forgot what it is, one plus this value, square root of eight plus two root six plus two root two, divided by four, and all of that is divided by two, and you have to square root it. So let's go ahead and see if we can simplify this a little bit, add the four in there. So that's gonna be four plus the square root of eight plus two root six plus two root two, and then that'll be divided by four times two, which is eight in this case. And of course, you have to square root this again. So a lot of nested radicals here, which we kind of have to denest. But how do you denest them? That's actually a really good question, right? So let's go ahead and see uh, what we can do to uh, simplify this a little bit more. Uh, you can actually, one thing you can do is maybe separate them. Let's just try separating the numerator and the denominator and then we're gonna write the denominator as root square root of eight, which is two root two again. And multiplying by root two, is that gonna give us something helpful? Let's go ahead and find out. I'm gonna distribute the two in there, eight plus two. There's a two all the way on the outside of the inner radical. And then it's just gonna be divided by two times two, because if you multiply two root two by root two, you get two times two, which is four. So that is not very simple maybe. Uh, but one thing you can do is probably factor out a two here, uh, like write this as a two. Another two will come out. Actually, I don't think it's gonna be very helpful. But anyways, the whole idea is, I, can, I could, if I took out a two here, uh, I could simplify a tiny bit, I realize, because there's a four in there. But I'm not sure if it's gonna be super helpful. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, maybe leave it as an exercise for you to simplify. See if you can simplify this further. Maybe there was something we could have done earlier, but I'm gonna show you the results from Wolfram Alpha because I wanna keep this video short. Let's go ahead and take a look. Wolfram Alpha gives us the following values, which is interesting, right? The decimal approximation, look at this number, super close to one, obviously that makes a lot of sense because it's a small angle. And this is what we were supposed to find but why were we not able to find it? That's a good question. Maybe we should never simplify two plus root three and stick to that. But notice that we have a much more complicated way to express it. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. Don't forget to check out A plus BI, which is another channel. And bye-bye.